Shalom and welcome to Simas of Torah. This year is entitled Tafyomi Babatra Kuf Ayin Gimel. Gemara introduces the concept of an Arev. Arev is a cosigner and a star. It's a very serious matter. Many people take it uh, lightly. Someone asks for a loan and says, the uh, person, the lender, or the organization, the Gemach, that's making the loan says, we'll be happy to give you the thousand check alone on one condition, you need to bring an Arif. And the Arif signs. And very often, very often when there's a loan and there's an Arif, so the Gemara and a Gemara and Rabatra, Kufain Gemal, talks about how an Arif works. So it says that the obligation naturally is on the borrower. The day comes, Chof Tammuz, for him to pay back, you run after the the lova. And he says, well, I don't have the money. You search. So maybe he has land somewhere. Maybe he has metodolum somewhere. Maybe he does have the cash. Of course you run after him. And you must get the money from him. And the lender can't say, the organization can't simply say, well, whatever. It's going to be hard to get it from the lova, from the borrower. Let's just go after the hour of the co-signer. No. The Shulchan Aruch says in Hoshen Mishpat Kuf Chavtet Sifchet that in the standard relationship of a lender and a borrower and a cosigner, you go after the borrower. And only when you see he has no money anywhere, no assets, no metaltalin, no land, then and only then you go after the cosigner. So, Kamach, uh, when there's a simple when there's a simple contract written and then he's in Arave, the natural address is first the low of the borrower, and then and only then can he go after the cosigner. Shalom. But we'll see Mitzvah Hashem next year that sometimes the contract be written differently, and then Allah will be differently as well. Shalom.